the delayed transfer of Mikel Marino to Arsenal has been explained. Arsenal's pursuit of Mikel Marino gathered pace on Thursday evening when the midfielder was left out of the Real Sociedad squad for their preseason friendly against Union Berlin on Friday. According to Fabrizio Romano, the Gunners remain in talks over a move. Arsenal is still in talks to sign Mikel Marino. Fabrizio Romano claims that the delay in the Gunners' move for Real Sociedad is due to a lack of agreement on multiple aspects of the deal. Marino is eager to sign for Arsenal, so it is up to the clubs. The deal's structure and exact amount are reportedly still being negotiated. Once a breakthrough is made between Arsenal and Real Sociedad, this transfer should move quickly. Arsenal receive fresh bid from Marseille for Eddie Nketiah. Fabrizio Romano has revealed, Arsenal has received a fresh bid from Marseille for Eddie Nketiah since the two clubs resumed negotiations. According to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Olympique Marseille has reignited their interest in Arsenal striker Eddie Nketiah by submitting a new bid for the player. Negotiations between the two clubs appeared to have stalled recently, with Arsenal rejecting Marseille's second bid of £23 million. According to multiple sources, Marseille were willing to abandon the pursuit due to their inability to meet the Gunners' £35 million valuation of the 24-year-old forward. However, Romano revealed that Marseille has returned with a new offer, though the specifics of the bid are unknown. Romano wrote on X, I understand Olympique Marseille has sent a new bid to Arsenal for Eddie and Ketia. Negotiations have resumed. Enketia is still interested in moving to Olympique Marseille because of the project. Olympique Marseille is happy to return to talks, but they will only proceed under their terms. Romano previously suggested that a compromise on the transfer fee and payment structure could lead to a successful agreement between the two clubs. This development comes during a busy transfer window for Arsenal, which has already signed goalkeeper David Raya and defender Ricardo Calafiori on permanent contract. Arsenal are also in advance talks to sign Real Sociedad midfielder Mikel Marino, who has reportedly agreed to personal terms for a four-year contract. To fund the Marino deal, Arsenal recently sold Emile Smith-Rowe to Fulham for £34 million up front and £7 million in add-on. Furthermore, the club is looking for a new striker, and selling Enquetia to Marseille could provide the funds and squad space for this move. Marseille, eager to strengthen their attacking options, has already reached a personal agreement with Enquetia. Their initial bid of 27 million note was rejected by Arsenal, who are demanding 35 million plus add-ons clause for the academy graduate. Despite the initial setbacks, Marseille remains determined to sign Enquetia. Having already signed Mason Greenwood this summer and considering other striker options, such as Yusufa Mukoko from Borussia Dortmund and Elia Wahi from Lens, Romano emphasized that, despite earlier reports claiming that the deal had collapsed, Enquetia's potential move to Marseille is still very much alive. Michael Owen has announced the Premier League winner, top four, and relegated trio for the coming season. The Premier League season will soon begin, and Michael Owen has backed Arsenal to end Manchester City's dominance, with the current champions expected to struggle. Michael Owen believes Arsenal will finally end their Premier League drought this season, with Manchester City facing a steep drop-off. The Gunners have finished second for the past two seasons, trailing Pep Guardiola's team, which has been able to overtake them with late surges. Owen, though, thinks it will be third-time lucky for the North London outfit, who last won the top flight back in 2004. Unlike in previous years, the ex-Liverpool man believes the Manchester club, which has not finished outside the top two in seven years, will drop to fourth. This would be Guardiola's worst league finish in his managerial career. Owen expects his former team, now led by Arne Slot, finish second, while Aston Villa is expected to maintain their top fourth spot and solidify their position in the Champions League. He told Casino Hawks that Arsenal and Manchester City will be in everyone's top four predictions, and Liverpool will likely be there as well, despite concerns about Arnie Slot's fit. Although Michael Owen considered Newcastle, he believes Aston Villa are a strong and growing team. In terms of the order, my thought process is that if City does not win, they may fall behind slightly. It is almost as if if City are not really in the race after 10 games, their focus could shift elsewhere. I believe there will be a major surprise this season. Arsenal will come first, followed by Liverpool, Aston Villa, Manchester City in that order. Owen believes City's Premier League charges will be a distraction, but suggests they could win another Champions League if their focus shifts away from domestic issues. He added, The title is Manchester City's to lose, but I believe they will slip up this year. They have really put their foot down when they needed to, and had an incredible run last year, but they will eventually fall short. When other challengers grow stronger and wiser, it will become more difficult for them, and I would not rule out that happening this season. They've also got the investigation hanging over them, and Pep Guardiola is not going to be there forever.
This could be his last season. There are always things that test you throughout the season, and they have handled it so far, but something could knock them off track this season. With Arsenal being so good last season and showing no signs of slowing down with more signings, they are viable challengers again. Former top flight marksman, Orts Leicester, Ipswich, and Southampton's return to the championship. He believes it will become more common for newly promoted teams to struggle. He predicts that the three promoted teams in the Premier League will struggle in the future. Last season, three promoted teams were relegated, and if Everton and Nottingham Forest had not received points deductions, trend would have been even more convincing. They made a fight of it, and everyone really enjoyed watching Luton play, for example, but if Forest had not had points taken off, it would have been done sooner.